who you would have said in a dance hall? Remember, you know, in the car, you are the goat, so you, you can't in a dance It's a man, I'm very skeptical, you know, and I just give it praises, so you know. Pull up a roof, 20 matic as far, when's the empty barrel attack? Massacre, forward. I may have all a reason. You know what's a vibes car telling you, Rita? You know where you have to go do right now, if you see every brand and see of yourself in a dance hall right now you have to go fire some sh** on Vibes Cartel lyrically What the hell did you just say? It has come to our attention that there is an AI generated voice synthesis making the rounds on social media that dancehall artist Ninja Man is on suicide watch Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to another update. So Vibes Cartel recently did an interview with Brando Music Review Show and he was asked to name his top 5 you know, most lyrical dancehall artists. Well, he never named 5, he named 4 and Massacre wasn't a part of that. And everybody has said Vibes Cartel, this Massacre right there. So, so right now we have Jungle Dunga Boss advising Massacre, you know, only way he can save him career is to clash Vibes Cartel. So we are sure what's going on for that. Also in this update, it is alleged that Ninja Man has been put on side of watch you know because from vibes cartel come road is like the boss falling a depression allegedly as what people are saying so right now ninja man team has put out a statement say the dj is in good health and good mental frame so all this is rumors and it's not true so viewers will play audio as it relates to that but before we get into all these updates please remember to leave a like on this video very important also subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed as yet and leave your thoughts down in the comment section so now viewers, the first thing we're gonna talk about is Vibes Cartel. You know, recently Vibes Cartel was on Brando Music Review Show. Yeah man, big up to Brando. You know, Brando did an interview with Vibes Cartel where he was asked to name his, you know, five most lyrical dancehall artists. And Vibes Cartel named people like Assassin, Skilly Bang and two more. So it's like, you know, Vibes Cartel skip over Massacre name. You know, because everybody did say Massacre was in line for the crown after Vibes Cartel. Yeah man, so given that, you know, Vibes Cartel didn't acknowledge Massacre, you know, people have it say Vibes Cartel, this Massacre. So now we see popular social media influencer Jungle Dunga Boss come out and I tell Massacre say right now, it's like him lose all him street cred because Vibes Cartel denounce him. So if him want to gain back some stripe, he must go clash Vibes Cartel right now viewers. So I'm going to play the clip with Jungle Dungo Boss speaking and you the viewers tell me if you agree with him. Leave it in the comment section. Massacre, forward. I may have all a reason. Because you know Jungle is clean you know. And you are youth of talent and I see them try black you. So don't go over there to reason with you. You know what's a Vibes Cartel and rate you. I say if you know say vibes cartel na rate you. Yeah man, a one side man. Mm -hmm. Alright. Me glad you know say vibes cartel na rate you. You know where you have to go do right now. If you see every brand and see yourself in a dance hall right now, you have to go fire some shot pan vibes cartel lyrically. Me say you have to go fire some shot pan vibes cartel lyrically. Cause what you know? Are you fit in the seat the right there so? In a lyrical battlefield with alkaline and vibes cartel kick you out of the seat. Zane, he come from prison, he no call on him. Them say pick out lyricists, he no call on him. So, right, they say my shadow, you think so, you know, say, so rate you. So, you have to go different yourself lyrically and make the people them know, say, so watcha. They no chlorine the pan of croco, they no chlorine the pan of port more. The crocodile, them still alive. In the pan of port more. You have to make the people them know that, you know. Yeah, in a real life. And watch this. People are gonna say you're ungrateful when you drop some song from Vibes Cartel lyrically. But watch you see the same people them who are gonna say you're ungrateful. The whole of them know say Vibes Cartel not rate you. But them afraid for talk in a real life. So now watch them. And let me tell you this again. The guys are fan them no loyal. Soon as you drop some lyrics from Cartel and then see say you have the up hand, the whole of them are come back and say crooks. Believe you. Believe the whole of them are come back. And say crooks. So you have to go lyrical and drop some song for him and defend your ground in a real life. A yard the young king, you know. Remember, say Alkaline say goat in Alkaline in the kingship, you know. I you say young king and cartel no one get the young king. I kick you and kick you out. You see it in cream for dance all. You want it all in a business with you. You see what I say? Are you my talking? You know? 
when you said the career get cut like Nicki Minnie, you know. Yeah, are you my talk? So, you have to go defend yourself in a real life. You have to make the people know so watch how crocodile and still alive up what more. Zane, it's when you defend yourself now, then you go sit down in a seat there and a young alkaline and in a lyrical back of feel there. Right there, so that are no code. Pass red, alkaline and wait. Just fix up the thing. You don't have to fight for that poor more title. Right there, so I'm out. So, what do you, the viewers, think? Do you think that Massacre need to go and clash Vibes Cartel right now, given that Vibes Cartel never acknowledge Massacre as one of the best lyricists in dancehall? Yeah, man, tell me if you think the Vibes Cartel take away Massacre stripe right there. So, and in him song, the comet, him said them career get cut like Nicki Mini, and that was Massacre who him attack. Basically, that's how Jungle Dongo Bossa say. So, now Jungle Dongo Bossa advised Massacre say, just clash Vibes Cartel and win him, and then he had but replace Vibes Cartel as the new king and then now he might go, go up against you know Alkaline so you the viewers tell me if you agree with that leave it in the comment section <laughs> Squash to perform live for the first time in five years. Performing live at BZR Weekend, Miami's Big Breeze, South Florida's biggest and hottest Caribbean event. Also performing for the first time in five years at Squash Six Bars, featuring Massacre Music at Spice Official, at Maladan Music at Barred Messiah, and special surprise guests. So, viewers, Squash going to perform live for the first time in five years, and it seems like a Squash himself putting on this. No event because it named Big Breeze Weekend. We're not sure, just saying. So now viewers, everybody I gotta say, squash a perform live for the first time. Yeah man, this must be amazing because you know we always see people come out and I say oh them nasty squash but no show, especially the vendetta fans them. Yeah man, them always a beat squash bad for that and everybody have it say because squash mix up in a violence. Him can't perform on stage allegedly because him ups them we find him. So now squash I go perform alongside Maladan, Spice, Massacre and a few guest artists. But you the viewers can tell me what you think about this. A good look for squash. Leave it in the comment section. So I cook wild like Gordon Ramsay Keep clack here, here with a pan clip So now viewers, it is alleged that Ninja Man has been put on by the watch Basically what they must say is that from Vibes Cartel come out of prison and touch road is like Ninja Man fall in depression in can't manage no longer. So now we have Ninja Man's team come out and also dismissing all those rumors. Yeah man, basically they must say Ninja Man is in good health and is in good mind frame. So everybody knows that Ninja Man always put out letters from time to time. So this time, you know, Ninja Man have his team, Jojo Ma put out this, you know, letter and also dismissing all these rumors that are circulating about ninja man yeah man so viewers i'm gonna run the audio and you the viewers tell me what you think about it leave it in the comment section it has come to our attention that there is an ai generated voice synthesis making the rounds on social media that dancehall artist ninja man is on side watch it specifies that ever since the release of vibes cartel he fell into depression and is on suicide watch we are here to tell you that ninja man is just Fine, and his living conditions have not changed since the release of Vibes Cartel. The so-called report stated that the story came from an inmate in the prison where Ninja Man is housed. It is not clear why anyone would do something of that nature. But what is clear is that the fact that they used AI to generate this rubbish indicates that someone is trying to tarnish the dancehall artist even further. Again, Ninja Man is not on suicide watch. One would have to understand the resilience of the man and the faith he has in God and himself to truly understand his tenacity and his love of life. Please desist from spreading these rumors because that's all it is. Rumors. The Don Gargan is just fine and holding it like a general. None of you will live long enough to hear that he killed himself. This on behalf of Ninja Man. I am Jojo Mac. Ninja Man's letter to Squidly Ranks and the youth of Jamaica. I am Jojo Mac. In this letter, Ninja Man wishes to address an issue with dancehall artist Squidly Ranks while further sending a message 
to the youth of Jamaica. He begins by saying, In 2000, at the return of Ninja Man Celebration Show, a small, inconsequential incident happened on the stage where Squidly Ranks was being disrespectful, spewing lyrics about me and gay men, and I gave him a slap in the back of his head. It could have caused a riff, but it did not because it was squashed right there on the stage and there was no further confrontation. Nothing came of it. Recently, he was supposedly talking about that situation online, that we were in a clash. I was never in a clash with Squidly Ranks. He did not have rank enough to clash with me. He could not handle such a clash. His music was in no state for a clash with me. In his video, he talked about how he and his friends came to crossroads with big guns to confront me. First of all, Squidly had no gun and no one would run out with guns for him because he could not even pay for a bullet, much less for a lawyer should any of those people he created in his head get into trouble for him. What I do not understand is why he would tell such a blatant lie on himself. My question to Squidly is, why would you want to create problems for yourself by hyping about guns? Stop pretending like you have gunmen running with you. It can create big problems for you should you get in an altercation with someone. They will be thinking you have guns and gunmen at your disposal and seek to confront you before you confront them. Squidly's brother, Peter Metro and I, had gotten into a minor altercation. We both got cuts and went to the hospital and Peter brought George Pang's attention to the situation. He had a talk with us and we squashed that as well. As for Squidly Ranks, that's just a tall tale. That brings me to the message that I want to send to the youth of Jamaica. We are living in a very serious, unforgiving time. It's a time for young people to think seriously about their future and how the things they do now can impact their lives going forward. A lot of young school students are involving themselves in situations that have only two end results, prison or death. I know that a lot of you claim that you're not afraid to die. There are a number of people who are not afraid of death, but they don't go seeking it out. Everyone wants to live a long and healthy life. Seek to be one of those people by doing what's right. Be sure to absorb the lessons being taught in school as you will need it. You will need it even more as a bad man because you have to be extremely smart to stay under the radar. You cannot afford to have the struggle of being uneducated while being gangster. So whichever way you look at it, you will definitely need your education. Young men of all ages are finding themselves in prison or dying because many of them seem to think that there is no other way out than the way they choose. I am here to tell you that it's not true. You need only to apply yourself to the things that are positive with the same passion that you execute the negative. It's consistently being published in the official Jamaican news media that there are foreign agents who are having our Jamaican youth doing their dirty work, specifically contract killings. Listen, stop giving in to foreign agents waving their dirty money in your faces, sending you guns and ammunition to kill your brothers and sisters while they are abroad living in their nice abode and making a good life for themselves. They are putting you in the firing line for a few dollars, maybe a couple pairs of sneakers and two outfits. There is nothing as important as your freedom. While you are here running from the authorities and from other gunmen, they are in their foreign lands walking free, not having to watch their backs while you are hiding in remote places, not being able to enjoy the freedom of moving around as you please. Real men do not allow other men to use them like puppets. You giving in to other people's demands in that way prove that you are not your own man but a puppet being handled by puppeteers. Think about that life and weigh the pros and cons and you will see that none of it is worth the trouble, neither short term or in the long run. It's not a good life and the consequences are perpetual. Kill and collect, smoke and forget, that will put your life in a wreck. Think about the future and see what you can make of it. There is no room for elevation in prison. Even if you go to school in prison, it's still traumatic. And the same for going back into society. Why come to prison then said you are going to school when you have the perfect opportunity as a free man? It's not good to be known as a prisoner, criminal or inmate. It puts a permanent dent on your life. It's a rocky road ahead. You lose respect, that's irretrievable. Crime does not pay. You may think that the money is running now, 
But when the long arm of the law reach out and touch you, it lights out. That road suddenly gets dark, and even when the light comes back on, the darkness is still haunting. There is nothing good that will come out of any crime, especially killing. Getting locked up is devastating. There is nothing pleasant about being in prison. Soon there will be nothing to eat, and if there is, it will not be enough to satisfy your hunger. You are blocking every opportunity you have to make a good life of freedom when you choose to go rogue. I have been in these institutions since 2017, Spanish Town, Horizon, and General Penitentiary. I have not seen anyone from Uptown, no one from Beverly Hills, Cherry Gardens, Hope Pasture, Norbrook, or Jacksville. No one from these communities are sent to these facilities. Should they get incarcerated? It's usually for a very short stint. This speaks volumes. This is the original gold teeth, gunpan teeth, Don Gargan, pleading to you. One thing you must remember is that it's not guns that is a catalyst to this pseudonym. It's all from clash lyrics, nothing else. It's not reality. They use gun to brand me because of my lyrical content. There are some people who say I'm not qualified to speak, but we all have a voice and should use it for good. Shame on those who believe that if you don't qualify on paper, you should be quiet. Contrary to what some may think, I have always fostered peace and unity. Bringing people together with love and care, strength and hope should be the aim. The respect I get, even here in prison, is not from my fame, but from caring, my love for community, and the joy I bring to people. Some people enter prison by accident, a mistake, or even intentional. But when you get sentenced with circumstantial evidence, it's a whole other circumstance. I don't talk about my case, everything in its own time. There are times you simply have to hold some things close to your chest. My case is one that has a lot of different elements that really have nothing to do with me. There are a lot of discrepancies, but I do not wish to speak publicly on these issues at this time. If I get the opportunity to do the things I wish to do, the naysayers would be embarrassed. At this time, I would like to ask my fans and well-wishers, if at all possible, we could use some desktop computers at the General Penitentiary. For those who wish to help, you can have those desktop computers sent directly to the General Penitentiary. That would help tremendously. Please reach out if you can. Much love and respect. Desmond Ballantyne, Ninja Man.